Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445213-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445213-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, mail station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project runs nearly three miles on O'Galley Boulevard or State Road 518 from Sarno Road to west of North Apollo Boulevard. This is a maintenance resurfacing project. The entire corridor will be repaved and have curb ramps upgraded to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Currently, O'Galley Boulevard is a four lane roadway with two lanes in each direction. From Sarno Road to east of Croton Road, the inside lane is 12 feet wide and outside lane is 14 feet wide with curb and gutter. The grassy median is between 28 feet wide and 35 and a half feet wide. There is also a five foot wide sidewalk on both sides of the road. From Sarno Road to east of Croton Road, all travel lanes will be restriped and narrowed to 11 feet wide. A four foot wide paved shoulder will also be added on both sides of the road. No other changes are planned. O'Galley Boulevard from east of Croton Road to Isabella Drive currently has two 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction with curb and gutter. There are five-foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the road. There is no median in this area. There are no changes to this segment other than the resurfacing and upgrading curb ramps as needed. Lastly, on O'Galley Boulevard from Isabella Drive to west of North Apollo Boulevard, there are two 11 foot wide travel lanes in each direction, separated by a four foot wide cement median. There are four foot wide marked bike lanes on each side of the road, as well as five foot wide sidewalks. There are also left turn lanes in the middle of the road. There are no changes to this segment other than the resurfacing and upgrading curb ramps as needed. Design for this project is currently underway and is expected to be complete in fall 2025 at a cost of $2.1 million. 
All work is expected to be done within the right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin late 2025 at a cost of $6.6 .6 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 14th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-213-1. You may also contact FDOT project manager Randy Turner directly by email at randall.turner at dot.state.fl.us. That's R-A-N-D-A-L-L dot T-U-R-N-E-R at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation 719 South Woodland Boulevard mail station 542 Deland Florida 32720. You may also call Mr. Turner at 386-943-5207 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 445213-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by June 14th. Have a good evening.